What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 worst WrestleMania entrances of all time. WrestleMania is right around the corner, so we gotta check out some of these not so memorable WrestleMania entrances. WrestleMania, the whole show itself is it's big, it's bigger than life. That's what they try to portray. So, you know, you want your entrance to kind of be extra for this particular night you want all the pyro you want all the 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 grandness of it like you want it to be special and memorable you know and sometimes they may try to do something that doesn't really work you know so we're gonna check out some of these times where it didn't really you know they didn't land it uh, like they thought they did with the entrances we're gonna get it right into this one appreciate all the love and support you guys showed on channel the pump the pageantry right the it. endless fireworks love as fireworks. wwe sets fire to the sky itself in an attempt to smoke out god no gods or kings only mania one of the reasons why we love wwe's biggest show of the year is that everyone gets involved gets prom levels of fancy and throws as much glam buoyancy at you until you drown in it wrestlers wear mm -hmm. their most beautiful frocks the set is ozymandianly big and of course those special entrances Shawn michaels zip lining down to the ring mm -hmm. austin walking through the shattered glass undertaker emerging through the tortured grasping souls there are countless amazing wrestlemania entrances but no one gets it right every time. Nope. And 60% of the time, WWE gets it wrong every time. I'm Adam Hailing from Parts Fun Known, and here are our 10 worst WrestleMania entrances. Number 10, Lax Swagger. WrestleMania is a long show, <laughs> even before they started taking the absolute piss at Mania's 32 to 35. It was a long show. One of the reasons why is that everyone gets an entrance. Are you winning? Have a lovely big entrance. Mm -hmm. Are you losing? Have a lovely big entrance with a live band playing your theme song. Mm -hmm. At WrestleMania 29, Jack Swagger got no entrance. In fact, a jobber entrance. The live feed came back from a video package and Jack was already in the ring that's with his music cold. playing. By any and all <laughs> definitions, that's a jobber entrance in a world title match at WrestleMania. There was a mini racist mobile by the ring. Mini racist? That Jack and his ornery <laughs> grandpa Zeb Coulter rode down to the ring on, but the viewers at home didn't get to see it perhaps because the jack jack man was in the doghouse at the time having just been charged for driving under the influence a oh. month earlier he would have got a wrestlemania entrance then he got high number nine mysterio Damn. no and now he's in aew proclaiming his love for for a hat a bucket hat man great that's awesome. <laughs> or raise knees. No one in wrestling history has been jobbed out more than Papa Mysterio's Patellas, and that's not helped along by his entrance. See, the standard fare for Ray's entrance, especially at big shows, would involve being catapulted through mm -hmm. the air by a quick rising trapdoor before executing a superhero landing, often dressed as a superhero. Snicked. Uh, the daredevil. Uh, hello. At WrestleMania 26, his trapdoor no-sold his entrance, refusing to budge. Ray's pyro went off, the kind that would normally accompany him popping up through the floor, but then the camera hastily cut to the crowd as people backstage started shouting, fuck, fuck, oh, oh wow. fuck, fuck into their headset. After covering the crowd for what felt like ages, the camera finally cut to a super jarring close-up of Mysterio <laughs> on the ramp, eyes wide and out of puff from having pegged it round the corner up onto the ramp. Probably Dom-related sabotage. He's always had it in for him. Number eight, mm -mm. Bray Strawman. God oh, Bray, Ron. darkness is your friend. Unless that darkness is a UV light, in which case it's not your friend. Turn it off. Bray yeah. Wyatt can usually be relied on for two things. Spookums, of varying quality, and a killer entrance. Ever since the beginning, he's had one of the best. Dark mm. Mm -hmm. lit by lantern light with the WWE Universe providing that firefly magic. Beautiful, unique, perfect. Which made his entrance at WrestleMania 31 all the more disappointing because of one simple thing. It happened while During it was still daytime. light out. Yeah, Wyatt it was work. wrestling The Undertaker whose entrance also suffered, but nowhere near as much as Bray's because it involves spooky scarecrows, borrowed from a local Amdram society doing zombie walk nonsense, and Bray walking down to the ring via lantern light in the, the afternoon <laughs> bray my dude you don't need the lantern you can see we can all see us in your silly party city wizard of oz boyfriends <laughs> we all fall down yeah no. the timing of that doesn't work maybe they should have kind of timed it a little bit when it got darker um that's sometimes the issues with those uh them those um uh, arenas or stadiums that you know don't have a roof so it's kind of open so you kind of got to work with the time if they would have maybe had the match a little bit later that night 
it probably would have had a better effect for sure. Walking isn't easy. One foot in front of the other. Slow down, Professor. And never is it harder to walk than on the grandest stage of them all. Seth Rollins famously almost fainted during his WrestleMania 35 entrance, and while he narrowly avoided disaster, not everyone has been so lucky. At WrestleMania 20, Ultimo Dragon, one of the most decorated luchadors of all time, tripped over not once, but twice on his own cage oh, during his entrance to the Cruiserweight Open, which has been carefully edited around on the network. Huh. Also edited around on the network, Mandy Rose slipping and falling on the rain so ramp at WrestleMania 37 <laughs> during the entrance alongside Dane Brooke. What has not been edited around, because screw Drax, I suppose Big Dave doesn't even go here, Batista at WrestleMania 35, <laughs> tripping over the middle rope on his way into the ring to face off against Triple H in a big, boring match. And honestly, the fact that Ultimo Dragon having a tiny tumble was cut around and one of the most famous actors in the world stacking it hasn't, that's very, very funny. Number six, Randy rides the sperm. Oh, WWE, you and your graphics. While it would be easy to dedicate a worst entrances list to WWE's often appalling use of those 3D rendered AR mm -hmm. text sneezes. I mean, I just want to stop seeing that big gold Roman or the big time Bex or Bianca's terrifying disembodied mouth Pokemon. <laughs> but no, this entry is about a different type of graphic, the one that was projected onto the entrance ramp during Randy Orton's ludicrous match against Bug Life Bray Wyatt at yeah. Mania 33. It was a bad night for projections that night. Yeah. Stop it. Bray had a good entrance because this time he waited until the sun went down, but Randy's made the audience piss themselves. He came out, did his pose, and then walked down to the ramp as what was supposed to be a giant snake writhed on the ramp underneath him. However, with its big bulbous head and swimming tail, looked just like a giant sperm, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. One with a terrible frame rate that would judder and clip under his boots as he walked. Very funny to think of Orton looking down during his entrance and whispering to himself, oh, f hell. Also, <laughs> later at Mania 35, he came out between two giant AR turds. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Number five, Paul's bullshit. I will say this. You know, I've gotten used to the, the little 3D graphics that they be doing. It They don't really look that good. But if you're a kid watching it, you probably think it's pretty amazing, pretty cool, pop, maybe. I know if we were kids and we saw these images during interests, we thought, that we probably would have lost our stuff. So, you know, I, I get they're trying to do something different and give it a little bit of extra flair, but most of the 3D images don't really work. Part one, there are very few things that are always funny. A man getting hit in the crotch by a football, old people swearing, and Triple H's WrestleMania entrances, the end result of typing big tough guy into Google images and going with the first thing you see. <laughs> what could be more tough than a giant tricycle, an incredibly slow moving police chase, and Stephanie McMahon looking like Sandy at the end of Greece. The size of the lapels on that leather waistcoat, O trips never change. I was there in person to see that, and I fell off my fucking chair at his little vroom vroom. It looked like him and Steph were being pulled over on their way home from seeing the Rocky Horror Picture Show with the rest of their married friends. Triple H has managed some cool entrances in the past, the big yes. king in yellow at Mania 30 being a particular favorite. This, however, was not one of his best. That bike is so goddamn funny. Stop being so <laughs> funny, bike. Number four, John's bullshit. Part I one. Think John was, Cena can be relied one, on for uh, a ridiculously overblown WrestleMania entrance, dripping okay. with more patriotic cheese and an old glory stitched together from a hundred craft singles. Sometimes this works, like the marching band at 24, the honor guard drill at 26, yeah. or the gospel choir at Mania 27. What did not work quite as well was the mobster entrance at Mania 22. <laughs> featuring the <laughs> cast of Bugsy Malone and also a teeny tiny CM Punk this. riding down to the ring on the bulletproof bomb before Cena emerged wearing his dad's coat and fired a f***ing gun into the air. Ah, Chicago's greatest export, comedy mobsters. Just imagine if WWE did that today. At oh. WrestleMania 39, Logan Paul comes down to the ring waving a f***ing Beretta around or oh. Austin Theory bursts out dressed as a member of the Cornbread Mafia firing a weed cannon into the crowd. Oh, John, you're the toughest boy in the high school play. Number three, Paul's bullshit. I mean, it worked at that time. It worked at that time period. You can't do nothing like that now. No. <laughs> Part two. It's WrestleMania season, so it's time to treat you to a round of frosty Triple H milkshakes. And sure, I'm making fun of the man for getting quite serious burns, and I'll reckon with that when I'm dead, but oh, nah, this damn. is pretty funny, though. Now, we all know that Triple H is a big toughie, and his entrance at WrestleMania 29 for his match against Brock Lesnar is very much indicative of that. And on paper, it's one of the good ones, emerging from a giant version of Vader's old helmet like he'd been birthed out of sheer metal itself. However, the entrance backfired 
hilariously as Triple yeah. H emerged. He was sprayed across the midsection with not smoke, but dry ice, mm -hmm. which caked his tummy and left him looking like he had a delicious vanilla glaze, completely obliterating the effect they'd hoped the entrance would have. Absolutely fair play to Trips for toughing out and yeah. selling the fact that the dry ice had just given him second degree burns, <laughs> but there's no way that any entrance that could be described as satanic bukkake isn't making it onto Stupid. this list. No hey man, I always much respect for Triple H for even going out there before the match even started. He had second degree, degree burns. Shout out to him, man. It takes takes a, a special individual to <laughs> to do this wrestling stuff. You can sometimes get injured walking down the ramp. That's Number great. two, John's bullshit part two. Send in the clones. Oh yeah, those daffy, laffy clones. Yeah. Send in those soulful and doleful John Cena clones by the bowlful clones. <laughs> They're already here. Circa 2009, it was the height of the Cena wins lol phenomenon, and most hardcore fans were firmly of the opinion that one John Cena was a John Cena too many. Well, at WrestleMania 25, WWE gave us Cena's until we can't stand no more, sending out a small army of John Cena clones yep. in matching shirts and caps to line the entrance ramp and do the you can't see me the gesture. <laughs> I tried to count them all, and there's like 50 of them. And they are me doing wrong, this. 50 grand men who are willing to suspend their dignity by wearing John Cena <laughs> wristbands. That must have been a Herculean task. And there are some people for whom this is their very specific kink, but oh no thanks, not for me. There is a very fine line between grandeur and embarrassment and the idea that John Cena either cloned himself and then released those clones into the wild to die when he'd finished with them, or that he'd assembled a bunch of his friends and paraded them around in his own merch is a bizarre road to wear Molly. It just read deeply lame to me. Yeah, Maybe I'm the only one. But hey, speaking that cool. of that, Number one, Paul's bullshit. Part three. Now look, we're on YouTube. We're no strangers to product placement. Sometimes a little help from a serial or a Raid Shadow Legends helps to keep the lights on in this era of generally dwindling ad revenue across YouTube's barren wasteland. But if Ollie ever asks me to wear a metal Terminator poncho in a skit that even it SNL is. would regard as a little cheap looking for a spoof, then yeah. that would be the beginning of my 30 days notice. The secondhand embarrassment I felt from rewatching this WrestleMania 31 entrance oh, burned man. more than any dry ice ever could could. In a bit of air quotes, brand synergy, WWE yeah. partnered with Terminator Genesis, easily the worst Terminator movie by the by, Facts. to see Daddy Trips walk out looking like he just killed the Tin Man and fashioned him into the dad version of one of those entire dead animal scarves that posh women used to wear in their Downton Abbey's for some reason. I'm gonna look cool, right? Said Triple H. No. Oh, very cool, said the costume designer, handing him a bunch of Terminator skulls with a straight face and a liar's heart. Daddy Paul has done a lot of very silly things in the name of testosterone in WrestleMania, <laughs> but this so is by bad. far the silliest. And that's our list. What's your least? Uh, <laughs> I figured that was going to be on the list. I remember watching that WrestleMania and I was like, what the fuck is this, Triple H? And then I get it, you know, product placement, you know, them doing a deal at the time for that god-awful Terminator movie. Oh, bro. That shit, like, look like something you can get off of Party City, bro. Like, I feel like you could probably get something better off of Amazon now. Like, it looked cheesy. It looked corny. The other Terminators that was out there, those look cool. But that looked corny as hell. I was like, bro, get this Party City costume off. You're better than this, Triple H. And it's funny, Triple H was featured on a, uh, a few of these, actually. He has multiple uh, reoccurring, uh, reoccurring appearances on this list. But comment down below. Let me know what's the worst WrestleMania entrance you've seen of all time. If they were on this list, let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world and your intercluster world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.